Hello everyone, in today's stream I'm going to do some group dungeons solo and we'll see how much money we get from that activity. Now before we start the stream, let me set up the chat and send a link in my discord. Uh -huh. Light. One second and I'll be done. Right. Hmm. Okay, let's go. We hey, hello. I still have some stuff from some random content I did like in the last session. I will quickly sell this and we'll go to the dungeon after this. Let's just dump everything here for now. It should be good. Right, before we start the dungeon, let's just clear out the loot tab. What's my next video about? It's probably about fame farms. So I've been testing a bunch of things. So till now I have tested tier 4 and tier 5 zones. After the stream or you know sometime later today, I will test tier 6, tier 7 and Avalonian roads. We'll compare all the fame powers and see which one's the best one. You know, because the fame buffs going on right now just to find out which is the best option it's probably going to be tier 7 open world mobs but we'll see I'm also planning a video about refining I don't know what will be in the video yet so still you know have to finalize the details on what exactly will be the refining stuff all right let's have some music in the stream media all right let me know if the music is too loud or too quiet i'll adjust that So much stuff. Oh, this great. Okay. I have like basic spec in some refining. Let me check. Oh, refining. Uh, where is it? Here. Yeah, I got just a little bit on some over yeah this is all I have uh, is 7.3 gear good for soloing group tensions yes it is well I can just show you you know with a 6.3 set people asking me about this so I will do one dungeon with a 6.3 set now there will be some bosses or you know mobs that I can't kill in that case you just have to skip Welcome, of course there's going to be things you can't kill because you know your item power is limited and the dungeon itself is meant for five people in those cases just skip the mobs you'll eventually get stronger like you know farm silver and get better gear in future you'll be you know, able to get some Okay, let's just sell all the valuable items and quick sell the junk. I really like the quick sell feature. Probably lost a few few million to it already, but it saves so much time. Right. 
all of this is junk yeah okay quick sell yeah i'll take one sell yeah it is easy to get over from fort sterling okay for the first tension i'll do 6.3 since people keep asking about it after that we'll go with my 8.4 speed player set Eleven is a cheap horse. What's the repair cost on eight point four? If you get down, it's around three hundred k. It's not cheap. I won't claim it's cheap. It is expensive. But the thing is, if you are good at the game, you will not even get down all that much. You'll definitely make a lot more money than repair bills. And you know, your gear being eight point three, it's very hard for you to get down. Okay, that's it, right? Uh huh. All things set. Set. I'll probably get a better V sack later, but for now, I think that will do. What is the double helion build? Okay, I'm using the double helion build right now. So whenever people refer to double armors, like any double helion or double mercenary, it is referring to the spectre hood. Now the quick definition is so let's see I used my armor and let's wait up wait for it to run out I'll take one more second my armor's out it's on cooldown but if I use the helmet cooldown will be back to zero and I can use it again that's the basic definition of you know double armors you can use that with mercenary jacket or any other jacket in the game any armor basically. So whenever people say double, they may inspect a hit. We had a tough time soloing Dimensional with 7.3. Well, yeah, Dimensional is a legendary boss. You're supposed to have a tough time soloing a legendary boss meant for five people. Okay, let's see. I'll use one dungeon. I'm using 0.1 roast pork here because I made this myself. You definitely don't need it. The difference between 0 0.0 and 0.1 is 1% more lifesteal. It's really not worth buying the 0.1 food. I'm using it just because I have it. Okay, let's. I have 120k faction points. This will take some time, like the uh, clear speed on this thing is abysmal, it's so slow, since it's 6.3. You know, I might not be able to kill some bosses or mobs, but that is fine. We're just here to demonstrate 6.3 gear. This is the set I used to do tier 5 black zone dungeons with. I'm not doing black zone anymore because, you know, since people are leaving the West server, the loot has been pretty good. Less competition for the same amount of overall loot. Oh, here it is. Right, let's go. Hey, Undead Dungeons. I really like Undead Dungeons. They are my favorite. So much damage. Okay. How did you get the cotton tail mount from market or from egg? I got the cotton tail mount by crafting it myself. I got an egg from the market like last year. 
the cotton tail is actually my first video on the channel so if you go to my channel and sort the videos by oldest you will see the cotton tail it's a 20 second video that i made i think it's one year ago this one's tough might get down here so what i did there is a bad mistake because i used my e spell when my giant was still active which reduced my healing by a lot so don't do that when you are playing so it's pretty comfortable even with this slow tier set i have another heal just sitting there and my e spell is almost back up right, let's wait for a few seconds and gather all of these mobs now this is a tough pull we have four mages and a knight the knights do a lot of damage oh there's a scorpion there it's better not to activate that thing use the hellion and e spell at once now you typically don't want to do that like using hellion and your e spell at once because it will overheal you and the healing will be wasted but since we are on a really low tier set you will not get overheal or you know waste your healing looks pretty well i still have the giant spell if i need it i'm expecting a double boss here let's see it's probably a tomb chest double boss but then again the new layouts are a little bit confusing for me Okay, my Hellion is on cooldown. I have to keep that in mind. Pull everything together. Use your E just as your giant runs out. And that's that. You can go in from oh, Hellion from here. I'll get the Hellion back again in 2 seconds. Which I probably don't need. That's it. It's fairly simple. It's nothing too complicated. Yeah, double boss. And is it the tone chest? It is. Yeah, I expected this. Probably should have waited for my alien or you know, guardian would school down, but no matter. Let's keep going. Let's take some more damage and after that we'll use Hellion to maximize its effect. And we can use it right about now. Go with Guardian Boots here. I'll tank some hits because I'm in Guardian now. Hellion and Shadow Collar. This might be a little tough. These guys are hitting quite hard. I had to cancel the ability there because there's a ground AoE. Now you can just kite them around for 10 seconds until your spells come back. You don't have to and you know be in melee range and fight them. You're a magic staff. You have more range than them, so you can just walk around them until they die. Or you know, you get your spells back. See, I'm at full health, have all of my spells back, almost, and these guys are going to die. This is the advantage of being a mage in the game, so you have infinite distance basically, you can just hide people around. This works in PvP too, like this is typically what you do in PvP. If, you know, being in melee range does not work, just walk away. I lost so much health because I was tanking a lot of hits that I could have easily dodged but then again I did not need to dodge that and I knew it so Night. Do you guys have any other questions regarding this content? I'll clear them up. I have some time today I'll play until maintenance.
another thing when you are playing on a low tier set don't spam your respell because it drains a lot of energy so if you look at this it's 111 energy cost and we only have like 400 energy total so if you spam your respell you'll be out of energy very fast right let's keep moving this is a pretty difficult pull it will light up the whole floor <laughs> Yeah, you have to dodge every single one of those explosions. They'll do like half your health. I'll, are you planning to move to EU server? No, I will play there definitely. I'll make some videos there, but I don't know if I will move. No plan yet. The ice mobs are quite dangerous. Have to be careful. So here we have a entrance to the next floor, but I will kill these guys anyway because they might have the undead crest. <clears throat> okay, let's just wait for health region. If it was the 8.4 build, you could have just ran in there without waiting for anything. But since it's not. You have to chill sometimes. Mm -hmm. right, we are almost full health. Let's go back in. And the 6.3 staff is not awakened, some people might want to know that, I'll show it to you. It's not even excellent quality, it's just a good quality 6.3 staff, that's all there is. Early stream today. Well, it's 2.30pm for me, I don't know what time it is for you, but it's definitely not early, it's afternoon. Yeah, Stalker Jacket is better, but for the stream, I'm testing a 6.3 build because someone in the comments requested it. We'll move on to Stalker Jacket after clearing one dungeon with this build. Like, after this dungeon, I'll go back to using my 8.4 Stalker. Right, got them nice and clumped up. Dodge the poison arrows, they do a lot of damage over time. Just have to dodge when you are on a low IP set. Just walk in the same direction as the abilities. Uh, it looks like I took a poison arrow. Doesn't matter. Does it make sense to play with druidic stuff with low specs? Well, the Druidic Staff is quite reliable, to be honest. It does a lot of self-sustain. But in general, if you are on a low tier character, it's better not to do this content. You can make a lot more money in other ways until you unlock tier 8.3. After you have 8.3, this becomes one of the best activities. But until then, I think clearing open world mobs in a tier 6 zone or a tier 7 zone is just a better option for you. Right, let me catch up to the chat real quick. Don't have a lot of time to play games, but I managed to make 6.5 million. Is there any way to have enough income to buy premium? Okay, so you have 6.5 million and you don't have premium. So you can you can do silver farms. I have a lot of videos on my channel on silver farms. I recently uploaded a video like one day ago about silver farms in tier 7 open world black zones 
that's pretty good i got like 1.2 million per hour there so it's a good silver farm any open world content is great now that's how the game's balanced how about you i'm good I have a lot of fame credits, might as well use it on something, but I have everything maxed. I'll use it on nature staffs. I'm, I don't use them, but it's nice to have them maxed out. Do small pulls when you're on low IP, so I would have usually pulled like 4 more mobs from there, but with this set I am not very confident. Let's dodge everything. So, so the Spectre hood is on cooldown for a little bit. Nice. Dodge. So if you guys notice, I'm cancelling my spell. You know, if it means I can dodge a attack, that is really nice to do. Um, if you don't do that, you'll take a bunch of extra damage and get a repair build. So always dodge attacks, even if it means cancelling one of your own. your first time to play albion what is the best class well there's no such thing as classes in the game to begin with that's the you know appeal of playing albion you can play whatever class i mean whenever and just look at my character i'm using blade boots and leather armor magic weapon it's a random mix there's no classes but if you're asking about the best weapons curse staffs are probably the best right now they're good in almost every content How much is 8.3 set of what I'm using? Probably not too much. The most expensive part is the shadow color which will go for like 12 to 13 million. But other than that everything else is probably 2 or 3 million each. So you can get a good set under 15 million. Which probably is not too much. Okay let's not do this pull if it's a tome chest. It's a waste of time. Let's see. It is a tome chest and it's green so we'll skip the boss. Okay, there's a lot of mobs. So in cases like this, just use a miss potion and don't bother fighting them. You really don't have to. But just in case this is the final floor or you know, there's another chest there, I'll clear some of them out. Too. Yeah, too big. I know. How much silver do I get constantly in this? Uh, it depends. You know, this content is not very stable. Sometimes you get more than 2 or 3 million silver per hour. And other times you get only 1 million silver per hour. So it depends on what time you do the content. If you do the content in prime time of the game where, you know, everyone else is also playing and competing for loot in other chests, you'll get less loot. But if you play on dead hours where you know, there's not much people online, you'll get a lot of loot. It's very volatile. Is it better to buy the set or buy premium first? Now that depends on what your playstyle is. If you are into crafting, if you can craft or refine, maybe buying premium is better because it will pay for itself. Like just using the focus points will pay for the premium. So if you want to craft or refine, by premium if not by the set okay let's do this pull and we'll move on to the next rooms and this is hard helion was on cooldown should have waited until it came back off cooldown to start the pull oh i dodged that didn't i must be the ping
2.3 million oh you got okay okay yeah don't take your items to black zone if you you know if you can't afford to lose them like if you have 500k on your total you should not take a build that's worth 300k into the black zone only you know risk what you can afford to lose if you take it into the black zone just assume it's gone oh, i actually got hit by one of them not see that coming that we did a much bigger pull here but we did not die because you know all of our spells are on off cooldown right, that should be enough any plans on east now east server has a you know really bad market i don't want to play there and you know all of my characters destiny board stuff you know everything's built up on west so i don't want to just abandon that yeah always caught in what you can afford to lose if it's something you don't want to lose or you can't lose just don't risk it Wait a second, I'm getting a call. I'll be muted for a bit, but I'll still play.
Okay, I'm back. Let's see. This is an important call. Otherwise, I would have just not taken it. Right. You want to use the build, but you don't have specs. Should I proceed to farm or? Oh yeah, you have to farm specs or you know if you can use 8.3, you don't really need specs. But if you can't use 8.3, just farm open world mobs with 4.2 or 4.6.1 sets until you can use 8.3. After you can use 8.3, just buy 8.3 set and go into tier 4 dungeons or statics. Uh, where did all the damage come from? I just looked away for chat in one second. But 2 to 3 million power is a light. Yeah, it is a lot. 2 to 3 million power is very rare. Have you done PvP before despite hyping? Yes. I don't do guild content or group content. So all of my kills are solo kills. So every time I kill someone, it's just solo stuff. In corrupted dungeons or you know, everywhere basically. I have over... 1200 kills I really don't like pvp in this game though feel it's boring oh a double boss so when you guys fight a double boss you can just kill the guy with lowest health first and reset the fight so in this fight we have a 16,000 mob and 22,000 mob so if you can't handle both at once just focus kill the 16k first and reset so you can fight them one on one again Also dodge everything. Okay. Okay, I think I stood in like three attacks there. There's a lot of sudden damage. I'll have to kite for a bit. See, kiting is uh, really hard because there's a ranged mob that's sniping me. If it's just this swordsman, you can kite them all day. I'll probably have to use a in this portion here. Alright, let's reset that. Yeah, I should not reach that while fighting. Okay. Let's just chill until our health comes back. Just one sec. Hmm. Right, I think we are good to go now. Just have to wait for the giant spell. Right, let's see. I'll try killing the frost mage first. Seems like this is a little too hard. I'll try this again. If I can't do this this time, I'll just skip. Because there's really no point in trying it again and again because you know, this game is just a matter of numbers. If you have better numbers than the opponent, you'll win. If not, you'll just lose. There's not much, you know, space for skill in the dungeons here. If you can't do it, it's probably just bad IP. Alright, out of energy for Dosh. 20 seconds. Should be fine. I will, uh, I will avoid the skill shots. Frost Mage is dead. Right, we got the spell back. Uh, every time I look at chat, I get hit by a quick attack. And we have the Limhash keep running, so no more energy problems. And he should be dead with that. 
that's it hey 70k not bad we have 500k but this is my item so 100k in loot in the third floor it's not very good Well. So that's basically how you pull mobs. You have to aggro the melee mobs, go to a ranged mob and walk back and forth until they're all clumped up like this. In this case you have a huge advantage because every one of the mobs is standing on your Q stacks. So everyone gets damaged and the more damage they get, the more lifesteal you get back as you know health. Alright. Hmm. This is quite slow. Like using a 6.3 build is, you know, it it works, but it's just not worth it. That's why I told you guys to get an 8.3 set, and you can just go from there. You don't even need high specs. almost 30 minutes in one dungeon so with my 8.4 set i can clear the same dungeon in 20 minutes or you know less than 20 minutes okay we'll avoid this guy and get this pull i'll use the guardian at the start because i'll take a bunch of damage for free right now we can go in with the shadow color and alien at once after dodging their next batch of attacks, we can channel our W. Now we can channel and will not get AoE. Alright, that's it. Simple. I think it's a blue chest. Oh, this guy survived somehow. Yeah, it's a blue chest, I think. It's the hammer guy. We'll kill these guys first before fighting the boss. Now we can use the Hellion if we wanted to, but it's probably not necessary. Twenty seconds. That's definitely not enough time. So let's just eat another food buff. All right, we'll swap to the mercenary jacket here because it's a single target mob. Okay, let's go. As soon as we get our cooldowns, we can engage. Also, switch to energy passive for long boss fights. It will help a lot for the energy sustain. He'll do a slash attack. It's pretty easy to dodge. You just have to walk circles around him. I'm waiting for it before I use my big channel spells. There it is. Right, circles again. Until he uses the stupid slash attack. There. I got hit by something. Alright, circles. Oh boy. Walked into that one. Watch out for the hands. They stun you for, you know, forever. Launch the hand. Jammed. Oh, we only have 30 minutes left. Okay. Yep. 
and it'll slash pretty soon so we want to look out for that okay that was bad this might not be possible I know I can use my specter hood here but I'd rather not use it Oh, completely forgot about that. It's probably coming again soon. Right. Should be dead. Yeah, they already. Come on, man. Okay, barely managed to kill him. ATK. Not worth it for all the trouble. Okay, now let's move on to the 8.4 set. Should be a lot smoother. <clears throat> How much did we get? 400 is this one right yeah so 187 two blue chests that's not completely terrible have to do some crafting again i've not been doing crafting since i stopped uploading those food videos i have focus left over also i leveled up leather crafting I wanted to have my own Hellion jacket, like my name on it. So I leveled up crafting to 100. Later I will level one of these to 100 and craft a 8.4 variant of what I use. If anyone's interested, it took 5 million to max out the crafting to 100. It's pretty cheap actually, if you think about, you know, 8.3 crafting and all that stuff. You just have to buy like 50,000 refined tier 4 leather and craft it at once. Yeah, let's go to the good set now. Right, deposit everything. Loot, not loot. Oh yeah, let's deposit loot first. That took a little over 30 minutes on the 6.3 set. Which I think, considering it's a 6.3 set, is not too bad. But generally, you don't want to spend that much time for tension. Let's go with this one. Stock it there. It's hard to find these items sometimes, they're all white. Okay. Uh, probably need some more potions. We'll get that. Let's buy a map and potions. We mashed a bunch of buttons. There might be like 10 spelling mistakes on that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff I missed. Wait, 
the chat is not loading in sometimes this is such a weird bug what did you guys say what all bosses can you not do with 7.3 set so there's earth rotter arthos and morgana raven those are the only bosses i can think of right now this like probably one or two more but just skip them they're not worth the trouble what new things probably nothing this is stupid game it's the same thing someone ganking in the yellow songs yeah it's rot to it's rot is super and all I'm on PvP spells for some reason. I think set. Okay, let's go. So we had 22 minutes. Let's see how long it takes to clear the dungeon. Three Aetherodes in one dungeon. I don't know if it's good luck or bad luck. If you can clear them, you got three purple chests. If not, it's just annoying. Oh, hello. I don't know how to say your name, so I'm just not going to say it. Really got hit by that. I had to skip them. Oh, that sucks. I usually just skip them, but if I have anyone online that can bring a holy staff, I'll just ask them for help. For being a crafter, I think after you buy premium, you probably need. around 5 million just to get started after that you can you know start crafting for profit so 5 million plus premium is what you need for being a crafter so can we clear a throttle with 8.3 no way you can't i skip them i don't even bother there are builds that can solo a throttle but Those builds only work for the Earth Rotter. It's like a specific build made to kill that thing, and it's useless for anything else. What's the highest loot you got from one chest? I got around six million in one blue chest one time. It was the artifact to make Hellion jackets, a tier eight one. But you know the artifacts dropped in price now. They're only like 800k. But back in the day, they used to be six million. And I sold it then. I'm glad I did not hold on to it for some reason. It was a tier four blue blue dungeon, I think. Not even a yellow zone dungeon. Oh, two moss. Let's see. I think I can pull the boss here. All right, I did not get as much healing as I thought I would, so I'll just dip for now. That usually tops me off to full. So weird. I don't know why I'm not full health at that. Let's try that again after ten seconds. See this. This is why you bring invisibility potions. That just saved me 300k in the past. Sometimes the game just does not register some stuff, but it you know it does happen. It's very rare, but. And this is more like it. Should be almost full health. Yeah, last last turn there was a weird bug, I think. Five point three group dungeons. No, this is a five point zero. I mean, it's a map, so it's five point one technically. Yeah, let's go and loot that. Hey, assassin jacket. Not bad. I 
at how many is it 41 exactly I think the loot is just fixed in this game it's not even random anymore then again I really like blue tome chests they add up really well That. Are you able to do with 5.3 and 5.4 dungeons? No, I can't. And even if I could, I would not do it because it would take too much time. It's just not worth it. The goal from these dungeons is to make as much silver as possible as fast as possible. So the more you increase the difficulty, the more you increase clearing time. It is just not necessary. Even 5.1 dungeons, you know, the ones I'm doing right now, they give you at least 1.5 to, you know, something like that on a minimum. If you get lucky, it's a lot higher than 2 million. So there's really no need to improve it. If it's working fine, you don't have to, you know, tinker with it and mess it up. How much time do we have? When is the maintenance again? In 18 minutes or something? Should have just used the whole combo. Oh, my E spell is on cooldown, so let's not do that pull. I'll just kill this guy for 10 seconds until my spells come back. Mm -hmm. Right, we'll do the big pull now. I'll throw a Q here just to get some lifestyle on the way. Get those guys. Alright. Start blasting now. And that's that. You just have to worry about the stupid shields now. It'll take 20 or some seconds without Call of Purity. We'll skip the green tomb. Don't want that. Oh, you crafting food now. That's nice. You'll get profit really soon with food crafting. Just use focus and you'll never get a loss. Are you gonna switch to EU because of high ping? No. If I wanted to switch because of ping, I would switch to East server like a year ago when it came out. But you know, I don't want to do that. Because ping does not really matter to me. As you can see, these dungeon 